Hey guys, this is Srini and you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopist. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about unsharp mask and if you've ever tried to sharpen your images, whether it is in Photoshop or ImageJ or any other software, you probably ran into this term unsharp mask. Yeah, this sharpens your images. But have you ever wondered why unsharp you know, sharpens your image. So this short tutorial is going to explain exactly what this, uh, what Unsharp Mask is and how it can be actually implemented in Python or used in Python, I should say, uh, to sharpen your images. Uh, first, let me use the drawing board to explain the basic principle of Unsharp Mask and where the term sharp, you know, or unsharp comes into the picture. Now, first of all, unsharp basically means uh, uh, smoothed, right? or uh, it's the opposite of sharpening. So think of uh, doing Gaussian smoothing of your image. And if you wonder what Gaussian smoothing is, watch one of my tutorials, uh, earlier tutorials where I spent uh, 20 minutes talking about Gaussian smoothing. Okay, so first, a, uh, your image is going to be unsharped or smoothed using some filter such as uh, Gaussian filter, for example. And then that image gets subtracted from your original image. So in a way, let's say you have your original image. Yeah, uh, apologize for my drawing. It's not one of my skills. So you have your original image. Let's say, I don't know, O or, you know, and then you apply your un uh, 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 Gaussian smoothing. So you have your uh, Gaussian smoothed image and then you subtract these two images. So your uh, sharpened image in a way, okay, your unsharpened image or sharpened eventual final image is nothing but your original image, okay? So your, let me write it down so we don't just confuse, is your original image plus an image of original minus blurred or Gaussian filter, okay? Original minus smoothed or blurred or whatever the term you want to use or whatever the term you relate to, okay? So your smoothed image is original plus original minus blurred and here you kind of uh, uh, multiply this with some sort of a uh, value, let's call this, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not feeling very creative today, so I'm just gonna call this with certain amount, okay? So you multiply this with a certain amount, so this is like a scaling factor. OK, uh, so if, if you like mathematics, uh, let's say your uh, a final sharpened image, OK, your final sharpened image in uh, I'm just looking at two dimensional image right now in X and Y is equal to your original image, which is your uh, function of X and Y plus whatever this amount is, that amount, let's call this K times your uh, original image. Yeah, F function of X, Y, right? minus smoothed image. If we are if we are using Gaussian image uh, uh, smoothing, then it's minus g x of y. This is pretty much it. This is your unsharp mask. If you don't like this, let me go ahead and uh, let's actually code uh, a few lines of uh, you know code in Python to actually do this math and then just use one line to do unsharp masking, okay? And for that, let's actually fire up my spider IDE. And uh, let me zoom this in a little bit so you can see it clearly. And also the image that we are trying to sharpen is this image of Einstein that's obviously, as you can see, a bit blurred, okay? First, let's actually try to understand this uh, algorithm. So again, in the interest of time, I'll just, uh, I'll just copy and paste the code that I've already written, but I'll definitely explain it, okay? So obviously we are importing the uh, right libraries here. I'm not gonna use the unsharp mask yet, but we are reading an image right here as a float, and this image is my Einstein blurred image, okay? And I'm reading it as gray uh, just to show that, okay, this is, this is what unsharp is doing. Now, to this image, I'm applying my Gaussian Okay, again, if you wonder what Gaussian is, again, watch one of my previous tutorials. I'm applying a Gaussian with a sigma equals to one, okay? So this generates a Gaussian smoothed image. This is the smoothing part that I'm trying to do, okay? So we created this blurred image right now. So what do we need to do next? Subtract the blurred from the original image, okay? So now let me switch back to the code. Now the next step is I'm calling it image two, which is nothing but my original image minus the Gaussian image, okay? So 
exactly what I described here, right? So original minus blurred. Now let's actually uh, apply a multiplication factor called amount of, uh, uh, you know, uh, right there, instead of multiplying this by one, let's multiply it by amount and let's actually define our amount equals to 1.0 for now and we can change that and see what happens. Uh, and finally, we have done this part. Now we need to add that back to our original image. Okay, so our original image again. So I'm uh, calling image three is nothing but my original image, which is uh, uh, the variable IMG plus IMG two. And then we'll just have a look at it. Fine. So I hope you guys are okay with me now. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's actually look at only image two, which is nothing but image minus Gaussian image. Okay, so by looking at that, again, let me fire this up. I'm only right now doing this part, okay? And then let's add this back to the original image to see how the original image looks like. So I'm just doing, uh, there you go. So as you can see, my original Einstein image is right there, okay? And I blurred the image and subtracted from this original image. In a way, it's like a high pass filter. Okay, if you think about it, which is showing these edges. Now I'm going to add this back to this uh, original image and this is what we are gonna see, image three. Uh, and there you go. This looks definitely sharpened compared to the original blurred image. Yeah. So all of this is to just show you how, uh, I mean, what, what uh, unsharp mask actually looks like. If you really want to apply this in real life, uh, it's just uh, readily available as part of scikit image filters. Okay, so from SK image, let's actually import IO so we can read the image. And from SK image, I think it's in filters, uh, import unsharp mask. Okay, now we are all set. Okay, now let's just say my unsharped image is unsharp mask applied onto my original image. And you can provide a parameter called radius. I'm gonna just call this for now uh, three. Okay, and then uh, the amount equal to 1.0 for example okay now hopefully you understand what this amount is right this amount is the multiplication factor for that image that's actually uh, that's uh, uh, a subtraction so this amount is this amount that i'm talking about the multiplication factor for the original minus blurred image now what is this radius well in scikit image it actually uses uh, Gaussian filtering and what well, the parameter for Gaussian filtering you have to define right one of these parameters and that is the radius here so the radius controls the amount of Gaussian filtering in a way eventually it controls the amount of sharpening so that's what this radius here is okay so this is how you just implement it obviously we need to define what our image is image is io dot read okay and my image is under images folder and I call this Einstein blur.jpg and this should be fine right now that's it okay so let's go ahead and run it and if everything is fine now let's go ahead and visualize this and uh, i have written again these five six lines of code to display these two images side by side so let me copy and paste it and this is nothing but again i'm using matplotlib pyplot library and i'm defining my figure sizes and i'm placing figure number one at this position two two one and i'm placing the figure number two at two 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 which is nothing but i'm placing these two side by side by creating this grid and my first image is uh, labeled gray and I'm calling it IMG the second one unsharpened image yep there you go and let's go ahead and have a look at these images and uh, hopefully you can see the difference okay the left hand is the input image and the right side is our unsharpened image or in a way I mean the sharpened image okay now I hope you definitely understand what unsharped uh, unsharpened mask means or unsharped image means and uh, in the next tutorial let's actually cover a different topic I hope you found this to be useful if so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you very much